Trucker Dump for December 19th, 2011, episode 80. Twas the night before Christmas, trucker style. Welcome to Trucker Dump, where you'll get one driver's insights and sometimes humorous views of truck driving and the trucking industry, and pretty much anything else he feels like dumping on you. This podcast is brought to you by AboutTruckDriving.com. Resources that help you understand the world of truck driving through the use of stories and a pathetic attempt at humor. Merry Christmas, folks. Todd McCann here. Well, I know all you L's are busy these last few days before Christmas, so I've decided to give you something that's short and sweet. Well, it's short anyway. <laughs> but don't feel shortchanged just because it's not very long. This will inevitably become a Christmas classic. Something that you'll want to read or listen to as your family gathers around the tree on Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I give you... Was the night before Christmas. Trucker style. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the truck, the only thing stirring was a case of bad luck. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Thanks to my job, I wasn't there. The nephews were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of Modern Warfare 3 danced in their heads. But the evil overlord at home and her teddy, hey, it's my poem, and I on the road, we had both settled down to take off a load. When outside my truck there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bunk to see what was the matter. I reached for my clothes, knowing I was certain. Prepared for the worst, I opened the curtain. The moon in the sky gave off such a great glow, it made the parking lot look like it was covered with snow. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a flatbed loaded with big green John Deere's. With the driver outside looking at my truck, I knew right away I had more bad luck. As I jumped outside to check out my bumper, something flew over my head and then took a big dumper. My luck continued as I took it in the eye. It was such a huge load, it almost made me cry. As I looked to the sky, I swore I heard a jingle. I took cover and prayed it didn't need to tinkle. Alas, I did not see what dumped on my head, but I thought I glimpsed something that might have been red. I thought, could that have been good old St. Nick? Nah, couldn't be. My eyes had just played a trick. So back to my problem, the wreck, not the poop. I called my Nazi safety department to give them the scoop. We exchanged information, and he went on his way. I guess he was too embarrassed to back in and stay. Next thing you know, I was getting a call. The evil overlord sounded like she was about to bawl. It seems that some fat guy had squeezed down through our roof. He didn't seem too happy that it burned his caboose. He was all dressed in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all covered with ashes and soot. She said, Why would a man be wearing so much fur? I bet he's one of those drag queens. Do I call him sir? His eyes, how they twinkle. His dimples, how merry. This dude must be wasted. I'm guessing it's cooking sherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the sherry had stained his beard like a dead deer in the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and she said, Holy cow, I think that's weed! He had a broad face and a big old gut. Every bit of him was fat, yes, even his butt. He was chunky and plump, a right jolly old guy. She said, I'd be jolly too if I was that high. A wink of his eye and a shake of his head. Are you kidding me, perv? Not even if I were dead. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings with Doritos and beef jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, and they lurched into flight. As she leveled the shotgun, she had him in sight. As he started to exclaim, she squeezed off a shot. That'll teach you to let your reindeer poop in my husband's eye. The End Merry Christmas. Ha! Bet you weren't expecting that music, huh? Well, I'm being true to my word. I'm keeping it short today. 
I only got a few comments about the review of Lisa Nowak's new book anyway, so we're skipping the feedback section this time around. And I didn't get any feedback about whether you like that kind of show or not. So let me know what you think. You can leave your opinions over at abouttruckdriving.com or you can email me directly at truckerdump at gmail.com. You can also send me any questions or suggestions there. Or, if unlike me, you can keep things short, shoot me a tweet to at Todd McCann. That's two D's, two C's, and two N's. And with that, I bid you a fun-filled but safe rest of the year. So until next time, drive safe and stay out of my way. <laughs>